listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Tuesday, November 7th, 2023. This week, we are tackling the ninth commandment. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. And yesterday we started talking about purity, striving to be pure of heart and remembering that there is a lot that the church says specifically about the ninth commandment that applies to all people, not just married people, but all people, including even children. So we're going to continue that today by talking about chastity. But before we get there, please join me in praying Psalm 136 verses 1 through 3. These very simple verses really get at the way that God loves us and how we have so much to give thanks to Him for. And we're challenged this month by Blessed Chiara Badano and the BSN Kids Club to just live a life of thanksgiving. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. O give thanks to the God of God, for His steadfast love endures forever. O give thanks to the Lord of Lords, for His steadfast love endures forever. Amen. So today we're going to tackle the topic of chastity. So this is a big topic and there's some sort of adult themes with this that you'll learn about gradually as you grow older, but it's an important thing to even think about now. So first to start, I want you to just think about your body, okay? Our bodies, there are certain parts of our bodies that it's important that we cover up when we're (laughs) not taking a shower, right? There's certain pieces of clothing, parts of our body that simply need to be covered. But if we think about just our body, there's certain things we need to realize that just as our personality and our mind is so good, we think of those things sort of as our soul, our body itself is also very good. Now, even if you got into a terrible accident and you lost your legs or you were a burn victim and your skin looks very different or you were sick and your hair fell out, none of those things change the fact that your body is good and that God formed your body with his own hands. In fact, we take special care of our body to cover it, to give ourselves good food and exercise because we appreciate the gift of our bodies. Now, as we grow up and we discover what vocation God has chosen for us to really make us happy and join him in his good and holy work, our bodies will be used in different ways. Now, for example, a priest will never have a wife. They have been asked to live a life of celibacy where they are alone, where their body alone is for God. Now, the same is true for a religious brother or sister. If we are called to the vocation of marriage, then there is one special person, our husband or wife, that we share our body with in a very particular way. But still, the virtue of chastity applies to all people. Chastity is simply respecting our body and the bodies of other people, realizing that these bodies are sacred and created by God, and always looking at our body, the bodies of others in a way that is appropriate and is loving. So even a married person is called to be chaste or to practice chastity because we interact with all sorts of other people around us. Even there are movies where we where there's people in bodies or billboards or magazines. We always see people's bodies and the way that we think about those bodies, the way we think about our own body is very important. 
And this goes back to what we talked about yesterday when we were talking about being pure of heart. Now we really strive for purity when we are alone with God, when we are praying that he replaces our heart with his heart so we can see people and love people the way that he does. And chastity is simply living that out. Now, there are lots of ways that we can disrespect the bodies of others. We can physically hurt the bodies of others. We can also just think about the bodies of others in a way that is inappropriate, that is sinful, and that is not respecting their very dignity since they are made in the image and likeness of God. Now, this is a topic that you will have to confront and explore your entire adult life, but I just want you to start here to realize that we need to ask God for the virtue of chastity so that we can not only look at our own bodies as a very as the very temple of the Holy Spirit, where God dwells, but also look out into the world and see that. And through that vision, we can act appropriately. We can think beautiful, pure, appropriate thoughts. And so Sprouts, once again, we're just gonna say a very simple prayer today. And that prayer is just, Lord, help me to see others the way you see them. Lord, help me to see others the way you see them. And if we can say this prayer often and really mean these words, then God will reveal to us how to live a chaste life, how to be pure, and how to build true and meaningful relationships with other people. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. We are happy to announce that the Clubhouse, the membership from Catholic Sprouts, will be enrolling new members soon. We're having so much fun with our founding members. We've had several conversations with incredible religious communities, and they've answered all of our questions. I'm Mother Mary Matthew. I'm Mother Marie Elizabeth. I'm Sister John Marie. I'm a junior sister. Great. What's your question, guys? What is life like because you don't leave the convent? What do you have for breakfast? (laughs) (laughs) Good question. How old do you have to be to do to? to be a nun? Do you always have to be veiled? I think they asked, do you always have to wear your veil? Oh, (laughs) yes we do. Do you ever celebrate your birthdays there? Wonderful, wonderful. Guys, these were really wonderful questions. Thank you, sisters. Thank you so much. If you are interested in making some great Catholic friends, exploring your vocation, having fun, learning to pray, and just growing in your Catholic identity, we encourage you to discern joining us. Doors will be open again the first Sunday in Advent. So think about it, pray about it, and we hope that you climb on up and have a great time with us inside of the Catholic Sprouts Clubhouse. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.